last two days, we have moved approximately 3,300 individuals. We expect that number to increase in the days ahead. We are working with source and transit countries to accept migrants who previously resided in those countries. At least three flights filled with deported migrants have already landed back in Haiti. The U.S. says the remaining 13,000 or so will be cleared by the end of the week. When we didn't want to board the plane, they locked us up in the bus to calm us down. Some women even took a beating. A public health order known as Title 42 allows U.S. officials to expel undocumented migrants to prevent the spread of COVID-19 in holding facilities. A court has ruled the policy can't be applied to families, but the decision won't take effect until the end of the month. Manny Tsigas, ABC News. What's going on? I'm going to get right into it. Look, I just saw the footage of uh, Haitian migrants being chased by men on horses who are supposed to be government employees known as Border Patrol. And they are on horses chasing down what is supposed to be Haitian migrants and whipping them. It looks like a scene out of, not even the Wild Wild West, it looks like a scene out of Django. And it's very airy to plantation days. It's a sad sight to see. And I watched it, I'm looking at this, I'm like, this is the Biden administration that this is happening under. If this happened under Trump, It'll be all over the news. It'll be on Jimmy Kimmel. It'll be on Don Lemon's CNN talking about it, doing a whole editorial about it. It'll be on Roland Martin. It'll be all over. People will call for Trump's resignation. But under the Biden administration, the spokesperson is saying, let me get all the context. Let me find out what happened. I'll come back to you. No, it doesn't look good. But let me get the whole story before I say more. There's nothing more to say. The way how I look at it, again, I'm Canadian, so, you know, take what I say with a grain of salt. But, I mean, I'm human like everybody else. And my eyes work just as good as anybody else. And what I'm seeing is some BS. Because like I said, when you look at the context as to why you have Haitian migrants, if you understand that, just in the most recent, what, three months? Then you can understand what's going on. You have an assassination of the Haitian president by people who were trained by U.S. operatives in Florida, apparently. The coup was organized in the United States. Then not more than, what, three weeks later, you have a, sorry, not a hurricane, an earthquake. I believe the Richter scale was over seven to add more insult to injury on the Haitian people. You don't think there's going to be people trying to leave the country, trying to escape, seeking refuge? Looking for greener pastors? Looking to survive any way they can? Of course they're coming to the U.S. So this shouldn't be a surprise, especially considering that the U.S., you could say, is partially responsible for what the situation that Haiti is in. And it's not just what happened in the past, what, three, four months? If you look at the history of Haiti since the revolution and what has happened, the reason why Haiti is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, it has a lot to do with when the Haitian people fought for the independence and the revolution. They were forced to pay France for France losing their quote-unquote right to govern over the land and to continue to have them as slaves or enslaved people. They had pretty much had to pay reparations to France. To the tune of, if I'm not mistaken, I think three or four billion dollars, and not 
this is billion like in 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 real money's money times in, in real times in today's times billions which they had to pay because again it is a global economy and no one wanted to recognize them as a free and sovereign country they had to do that and apparently they didn't finish paying that amount I think until 1933 or in the 1940s so very recently and the revolution took place what in in 1804 or somewhere in between 1800s and 1820s right that's a long time paying that amount did you also know that the US occupied Haiti for a few years I believe it was 1914 so just like how the US has hands in Cuba has interfered with Cuba's development so have they done with Haiti as well too so it's no mistake it's not a coincidence that you have Haitians trying to come over to the US by hook or by crook as they would say but the question is why are you treating them like this Biden just brought over thousands of Afghanistans over to the US and Afghanistan has been placed over many different countries are they being treated like this so why Haitians especially after him saying that oh he wouldn't be here running for black people or black women voting for him but he's done nothing in regards to showing that appreciation on paper provide anything of any substance or value all it's been has been empty promises and fake acknowledgement which leads to nothing substantial or tangible it's crazy it's shameful to see that that footage of them chasing down Haitians on a horse it's madness I have nothing more to say about this you let me know what you think about this how you feel like comment subscribe until next time next move best move peace mm -hmm.